right, this game looked kind of interesting. The Council. And I think the first episode was free on Xbox Game Pass. We are going to see what we see. This is probably a work of fiction. <laughs> Inspired by historical events and characters events in the game. I've never seen that. Probably, so some of it could be real. France. Paris. Paris, France. Is that me? God damn, but I need some soup. <clears throat> oh, shit. Stop! You're not getting anywhere with this bon bon Nobody shot. slaps no, Abraham I'm Lincoln like that. Feeling, my dear Sarah. Listen. You've stolen something from me that I intend to get back. Which is? A flint lock pistol over there? Where have you hidden it? Von Borchert, you can't sell that book on the black market anymore. This is finished. These voices just do not work. We know them. you're planning on selling at one of Lord Mortimer's parties. <laughs> all right? These just voices do not, do not go with these characters you at no all. You have idea of the trouble you've gotten yourselves into. Listen, Mr. Clean, set me free before I get really angry. Oh, but you will tell me where it's hidden. <laughs> Stop annoying our host, Louis. Son, didn't what happened to you in Rome teach you anything? What does that have to do with getting punched in Just the eye? Just a few more minutes and my concoction will be ready. Always remain rational. And open. I got it. I opened our shackles. Draw him over here. I'll take care of him. Yeah. Von Burchard. What? Von Burchard. Mm -hmm. Listen. Let's make a deal. Where is Alazif? Let me do this. Is that a book? Me. Nope. I don't. I'm a man of action. Oh. Oh. Oh, am I going to get shanked here? Oh, of course. Cut me on the nose. Excellent. See what happens, Lex Luthor, when you leave the fucking flintlock pistol just loaded on the God desk? God's sake, Louis. I told you to let me do it. No. Let me see. Don't touch me. You know, I was in control of the situation, Mother. Let's go now. Okay. I just shot this guy, but all right, that seems fine. Just leave the murder weapon there, too? Awesome. I guess um, there's no fingerprints back in 1822. Is, is this the year we are in? One month later. Yeah, I knew it was 1793. That's even fucking further back than I thought it was. Lord Mortimer's Island. It is off the coast. That looks like damn the Isle of Seagal from Hitman. Is that if I go here and Agent 47 is on this fucking island, I am out of there. You ditch me in Paris with no explanation, and off you go to infiltrate one of the world-renowned receptions of this Lord Mortimer, oh, and geez. now he writes me to say that you've gone missing on his private island? I, I really Which, don't know. I want to play this game, but I, the voice acting is killing me, dude. It's... Is it just me? Well, I'm sure I'll find you once again. Slogging through the caves beneath the island, searching for some long lost mystical object that you oh just can't about. This guy's the worst. This is the worst voice you could use for the leading character. The worst one. I just want to mm, punch him right well, now, Duchess. We find ourselves both invited by Stan Hall. Well, how very amusing. Perhaps we have vampire interest, Your Eminence. Like to join us. You have a I'm very a crazy hair and forehead, Carl, lady. I don't like it. Suspected vampire as well. For a better suit. Better suit, bro. Uh, you. Oh God. Are you alright? She's already using vampire tricks on you. Get out of there. Get out. Don't touch me. You and your five head. Back up. Am I crazy? What is happening? Yep, I do think I guess so. Mother? Oh shit. Your hand. And your nose. I mean what the fuck is happening here? So the five head did it. Okay, it's done. Did you put it in a safe place? Yes. 
I made sure no one was following me. Don't worry, Sarah, no one's going to find it. Her hand? What are we talking are you about absolutely here? Absolutely sure. Yes, I'm sure. Like right. she needs, looks like she needs to go Just to the hospital to do. now. No, 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 no. What? Have you lost your mind? There is no other way. If you if you kill me, you won't find it. That is the point, my dear. No one must ever put their hands on it again. No. But I trusted you. Big mistake. No, sir. Don't. George Washington, stay out of this. No. It's between me and Sarah. Oh. You can run if you want to, Sarah, but you will pay. Ah, oh, what, what, what the fuck is happening here? I, I, did I lose my wallet? What did she pickpocket me? You, you, temptress! You swindler! What have you done with my coin purse? It was here a second ago. Now it is gone. Here, take this. Give me that. Ridiculous. I'm sorry. Keep it. Go on ahead and I'll catch up with you, okay? Are you sure? Yes. Good day, I'm succubus. Sorry. I'm sure, yes. Fine. I said, good day. Don't look at me. I definitely have to find Mother quickly. Fucking vampires. Am I crazy or, or what? This can't be real. The, the Duchess arrived with me. The, the Duchess. And she's a Duchess vampire. 100%. Absolutely. You fool. Mother. All right. Let's see what we can do here. Can, I'm, I'm, what am I? I'm like fucking Ichabod Crane. Like... A headless horseman I'm expecting to ride up any minute and lop my head off. And she, I told her to get lost. This damn... Okay, we're just going to ignore her and go right around because she's going to try some kind of vampire trickery. Oh, damn it. Louis, join the trip. I have something... I don't... To I told you to get, up, get out of here. Yes, Duchess? I'm not sure if you remember, but we've met before. At that time, you were of two minds. Trust me, I remember that uh, forehead me, and Elvira hair. Sense? We have not met before. Your class. I am detective, questioning, vigilant, psychology, agility, and logic. The detective excels in investigations, trained to notice every detail, as well as the people he questions. A hands-on man. He does not shy away from the direct approach. Well, maybe that's manipulation. Ooh, that's good. Occultism. And I don't even know what that name science is. Subturf these are all words I have no idea. The occultist is a master of deception. That sounds good. Convinced of the importance of knowledge, he has acquired extensive in science and the arts using other uh, the diplomat shines in society. No no no. I think we're gonna be the, the uh, manipulator. Rely on your knowledge of myths. <laughs> that sounds useful. Let's do that one. Fuck it. We'll do all of the points in myths, because, you know, that is important. To know the mythology of everything. I am ready. Novice occultist. I have been involved in all sorts of unsolved cases. Have you ever heard of the Abbey of Hexham? Uh, you ever heard of the Headless Horseman? Ichabod Crane? On a scale never seen before. Hmm. Why does so, his chin go down, through his collar? His chin is just so sharp, money. chiseling so right through holding. his collar, right through. Simple souls. Admit it, Duchess. Cut glass that with his story chin. Kept you in suspense, didn't it? Yes, it did. I'm delighted to find out that you were the young and brilliant friend. I don't Mr. care. For someone who only remembers the case vaguely. Your Look at my chin. See that? Big. Right through the collar. Well, they say I have the memory of two people. It, I, I don't anyway. doubt it. Your fucking uh, head is as big as two people. I was actually helped on that case by my mother. You wouldn't know her by any chance. Wait, Louis. We've already met. You do remember me, don't you? No. Lie. How can I forget a woman such as yourself? A woman such as me? What a sweet talker you are. Remind me of how we met. Oh, shit. Your skills give you hacks. I, I, you didn't say I was going to have to back up the lie. You just said I could just, damn it. Um, let's do this one. Emily, it hurts me that you could doubt my sincerity. That's right. I thought we'd gotten past that stage by now. Don't take it like that, Louis. I was only joking. You better, you better damn be. I or you no more hairspray for you. I'm hurt to see that you're still at the stage of testing the Duchess. 
Listen, Mary, I am sorry. Who is this annoying fuck that is walking behind us? Can he just, like, get out of here? If you say so. You must be Sarah de Richet's son. I must tell you we are doing our utmost to find your mother. How do you breathe in that thing, sir? I know we are on quarantine, but, you you know, that is a little drastic of a mask. Ah, uh, where is Mortimer? I have an appointment with Lord Mortimer. Would you be so kind as to lead me to him? Unfortunately, sir, I cannot. I don't know exactly where my master is. But rest assured, sir, everyone is waiting for you at the manor. We seem to have found an object that would appear to belong to sir's mother. Nobody <laughs> found anything but all, but and now you have a, an object, a handkerchief? S-D-R. We came to the conclusion that they are the initials of sir's mother, Sarah de Richet. I have orders to give it to Lord Mortimer as soon as I How about you give that to me? You know my mother. She's not the kind to go for a midnight stroll in the wharf for nothing. I've got to find out what the hell she was doing. What the hell is going on? Where exactly did you find the handkerchief? On the left. Oh, box, the handkerchief. The one you arrived by. Let me have it. You give me back that I can't pick any of the good options I want to pick. You'll, you'll kindly give me the handkerchief, this dude. Give me that. Pass me the handkerchief. But, well, but sir, I will smash your face. To give it to my master. Give it! Are you refusing to give me my own mother's personal belongings? Even though she was greatly looking forward to meeting your master, she's gone missing. And you seem incapable of finding her. And now you oh, steal the sir. handkerchief, Please, you son of a bitch. Please, it all off. You refuse to give me the handkerchief. Give me the she damn handkerchief! Use? Do I deserve such little consideration in your eyes? Is that what you wish me to report to your master? No, certainly not, sir. Please forgive me, sir. I've been such a... Yeah, I would yeah. think so. Give me that. How dare you. How dare you, sir. And good day. To move faster. Why can't you just say, that's what I wanted to know, run. You, nobody says, hold down the button to move faster. That's ridiculous. It's a sack of seeds. A sack of it's shit, open. more like it. It's like a bar from an old gate. This miserable old bar has been broken fairly recently. The edges are still clean. Maybe I can use this to club somebody. This might just come in handy. And damn right. Hit that stupid guy with the white wig. Fucks around on give me the handkerchiefs again. Right out. Oh, that makes sense. So I can look in all the piles of trash, but the actual chest I can't look in. That's ridiculous. Royal jelly. And again, I can't search that treasure chest, but I can search a pile of rope? Like, what is this? What's in here? Some rope. Apparently no one's touched for a good long time. How would you know that? How does it... That's weird. What the hell is this thing? Let's see what's hidden inside. No. Let's look. Um, we're gonna open all this shit. All of them. Too badly written, I, I can't make out the address. Throw it in the trash. Next. I know that. <laughs> Dang it. The slightest idea of what it says. Throw it in the trash. Let's see what's inside this letter. So. Dear Samuel, my stay on Lord Mortimer's Island is going wonderfully well. What's going on here? That you write to me under a pen name. Okay. But here you go even further. I'm trying to avoid raising any suspicions. Should I, hate this I, I hate this guy. I hate this guy. This is the person you came looking for. Thank you. Why is this mailbox just so anyone can just come in here? And... It's ridiculous. Worst island ever. We have a couple things here. What do we have this? This chest might belong to Duchess Hill's boat. Push in the lake. Another royal jelly. What the hell is royal jelly anyway? What is that? Oh, did I find a secret path here? Oh, these are, I can look at these things too. Like, what is this? More jellies? More royal jellies. Oh my god. A cracked plank. I knew it. There's something not right about this floor boy. People have been it's walking here. The rest. Rip it up. Shit. Use the iron bar. Oh my god, it actually that worked? Perfect. Let's see what's hidden inside. There's a book and also a bag. The Mysterium Cosmographicum. I know that book well. Mother used to read passages from it to me all the time. And judging from what I can see, it's the same one as hers. 
crying out loud. What's happened to you, mother? Why? Why would this be down in the bread? Who, who, who fucking buries like valuable shit in in the damn dock of a ridiculous? This is the most ridiculous hiding place a ever. A few toiletries, a small key, and some kind of black powder. Personal shit. belongings. These are definitely my mother's things. I recognize her hairpins. This bag smells of a perfume. A piece of soap, some oils, and a powder puff. What does all this mean? It means she hid her shit in the fuck. You know what? Just take the damn right. bag. Just in case. Just give me this. I'll take it all. Okay, that's right. I'll give it back to mother when I see her. I'm sure that whole bag fits into my pocket very easily. And it did. So, let's go through this. My mother's been hiding pieces of bread between the rotten boards of the wharf in the middle of the night. That's not. I can fit an entire suitcase in my pocket. It looks now like she's armed. Meanwhile, she also takes the time to send out letters. Reassuring whoever might be interested. Okay, you're She's babbling too much. We need to go inside. We so, need to go in. I don't have time to listen to all of that shit, okay? I know who did it. It's fucking Colonel Mustard in the study with the rope. All right? You again. Fuck out of my way. You, How sir. How Mortimer managed to build his manor at the top of a rocky outcrop? That is a door built for a fucking ogre. Like, what is living in this place? How do you even open this thing? The hand I can't reach the handle! Ah, my son. I was looking for you. Dang it. I don't have time for this, you. You are the son of Sada de Vice, aren't you? None of your business. You see, your mother and I... None of your damn business. Can you just go away? I was supposed to hand her a very important envelope. Oh, well, give me that. I haven't seen her. If it will help, you can always give it to me. During a confrontation, you have to go through several steps while being as persuasive as possible. Conser <laughs> confrontations have consequences. Well, who would have ever thought of that? Would you happen to know if your mother has an idea? Certainly, Your Eminence. Mother got here some time ago. I was hoping to find her when I arrived, but given the hour, she must be asleep by now. Right. I shall see her tomorrow. No. By the way, Your Eminence, I wasn't aware you knew my mother. Ah, if you only knew my son, I hold your mother in the highest regard. What the fuck is she that? She has mean? rendered great service. Just, ba service. just back up, you. Say they get so quiet. <laughs> What's with the closeness? Okay. I don't know you, only she sir. Told me where she was headed. He looks like Your a turtle, Eminence. man. He looks Our like the fucking master of the skies, turtle. Discreet. And I should like them to remain as such. If your mother wishes to speak to you about us one Even day... Even his hands! He's a fucking tortoise! He's not a pope! That is very commendable. But since we work together on a daily basis, it's, it's surely just an oversight. Most certainly. You said you work together. What do you do exactly? You are one curious George, okay? Um, damn it, I can't... I just My tell mother him. and I belong to the same secret organization, the Golden Order. You ever heard, heard of that, sir? So My give me the letter. You are telling a perfect stranger that you and your mother work for a secret society. That's right. It would seem that discretion is not one of your specialities. I don't give a shit. I'm the you golden. I'm the golden child. You ever saw that movie? That's me. That's me. Give me the dick. That's bullshit. Okay. That's All the same. It bothers me to see you in a quandary, Your Eminence. Is there any other solution? Do you think I should give it to you? Yes, I do, asshole. That's why I've been saying giving. Can I do that? I can't even do that. Listen. Give me it. You have nothing to fear. Give me the letter. I will give your letter to my mother the moment I find her. The moment you find her? You mean Sarah has gone missing? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I should have said that. Listen to me, my child. If I give you the letter, can you promise me before God that no one other than your mother will read it? Of course. Your eminence, that's just not possible for me. I am a man of science! Why is that? I've always had a Cartesian mind, and I won't make false promises. I respect you too much. <laughs> I dropped a zero effort points during a quest. Yes! yes that's what those were. To problems which, at first glance, may seem supernatural. Listen, let's stop it. I'm going to tell you a secret, Monsieur. 
Your mother and I are organizing the escape of a large number of French priests who face a massacre. He's gonna give me the letter? Oh, you fool! Public and tribunals. Here, the letter I spoke of. It includes a list of about 15 names ready for departure. Be quick. Remember to tell Sarah when you see her. That time is short. Don't worry, I'll well, throw this wait. right into the trash. I'll decide later when I'm alone whether to look at what it contains. No, I'll look at it right now if I want to. Don't tell me. It's bullshit. Let's see. I'll read it right now. Right now. Where is it? Let's just take... Open it! Open the shit! Oh, that's bullshit. All right. What's going on over here? Whose book Lies is this? Lies for noble Greeks and Romans by Plutarch. Biography of the Great Men. Open to Brutus's page. Caesar, stabbed by multiple blows at once, sees Brutus raise the dagger on him. Then, covering his head with his robe, he delivers himself to the arms of the conspirators. Nice family. Let's keep it. it might come in handy someday. <laughs> I have the best jacket in the world, bro. You I need one of these jackets where anything, unlimited inventory, I can put this whole fucking castle in my pocket, I'm pretty sure. Let's see what else we can fit in our pockets. I thought my chimney was big, but this one is beyond belief. It's the least one can say. I've been longing for a warm fire for ages. Since I set foot on the island, I haven't ventured more than two yards away from it. Have you also just arrived? Oh, late morning, I'd say. Louis. Come join us. Monsieur, may I introduce you to Monsignor, his eminence, Cardinal Piaggi. He joins us straight from Rome. Oh, just call me your eminence. It's simple. George Washington, president of the United States. <laughs> it was George Washington. Like Holy shit. To make your acquaintance. I knew it. Right. Pleased to meet you, Mr. President. Louis Maurras de Richet. It is an honor to meet you. Young man, let's keep it simple, please. Let us forget our fancy titles. Nice to meet you, Louis. I should imagine you never thought you'd be in such company. I must admit that I didn't. It's the first time that I've ever met so many illustrious personalities. And you haven't seen anything yet. What were you talking about, if you forgive my indiscretion? I am the Golden Order, okay? About a letter. Oh, nothing special. His eminence had an envelope to give to my mother. <laughs> he doesn't like that. Because your mother was supposed yeah. to join us. That's right. She arrived a few weeks ago. Several weeks at Lord Mortimer's? Hmm. She must be a special guest. That's right. Oh, pity. No scrumptious gossip or juicy tidbits, unmentionable secrets. Well, I can open the letter, Mr. Washington, if you want to read it. But I think uh, the Master of the Skies, Mr. Turtle, will be pretty pissed off if we do that. Oh, speak for yourself, sir. <laughs> well, Let's open the letter. Do any or let's throw it in the fire. Here this time. Not in the slightest. As for me, I've been invited by Sir Horn, a close friend of Lord Mortimer, but uh, I do not know the reason why. You see, Louis, every time Lord Mortimer organizes a reception, he always finds a moment to sit up. Oh my god, is this guests. all? Can we just get on with this shit? I would have never came by the I damn fireplace if I knew I was going to be stuck here for I ten minutes. Come on! So, if I understand rightly, Monsieur de Richie, oh. you've come out here to join your mother. No! For what I came to fit everything I can into my damn pockets and invent right something. Here, Mr. Why? <laughs> I'm here as a result of Lord Mortimer's invitation. Two members of the same family here. That is rare. You know what they say. You can pick your nose, but you can't pick your family. <laughs> 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 oh my god, I'd throw you into the fire myself if I could. Seriously, though, 